Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to be shedding light on the problems appertaining to having a vitamin D3 deficiency. So what are some of the ample problems appertaining to having a vitamin D3 deficiency without further ado, without further delay? Allow me to demystify that answer to that inquiry right here, right now. But before I do so, I just wanted to preface this video by stating that it is incumbent, it is pivotal, it is paramount, it is vital, it is critical, it is crucial, it is of eminent importance that you do everything in your purview to attain optimal nutrient levels. You never want to succumb to having subpar nutrient levels nor nutrient deficiencies. You want to be able to thrive, prosper, and flourish. You want your 78 organs to function optimally and never atrophy nor wane. You never want them to become dysfunctional. You want them to synergistically, holistically work together in order to allow you to function optimally. Your organs need macronutrients, micronutrients, vitamins, minerals, phytonutrients, and other salubrious compounds. Do not shirk on optimizing your house. Do everything in your purview in order to attain vigorous, robust, stellar, optimal house. Embrace following house optimization measures. You want to be able to bolster, augment, and enhance your house. Your house is precious, indispensable, invaluable, and sacrosanct. Do not blithely overlook the eminent importance of optimizing your house. Take the reins of your life. Be a pioneer of your own destiny. Do not neglect to attain optimal health. The ramifications, the repercussions, the outcomes can be calamitous, direful, and adverse if you allow your overall health to wane and atrophy and metaphorically go into arrears. You never want to succumb to ailing. You never want to succumb to inflammation. You never want to succumb to insufferable pain. You never want to succumb to distress. So, why is it deemed problematic to have a nutrient deficiency? Why is it deemed to be problematic to have a vitamin D3 deficiency? Well, it's problematic to have any type of nutrient deficiency. If you have a nutrient deficiency, you want to remedy it immediately in an expeditious manner. Do not desist, abstain, nor refrain from doing so. Rectify it immediately. Take remedial actions immediately. Do not defer doing so. Do not postpone doing so. So if you have a vitamin D3 deficiency, you're going to be more fatigued, you're going to be more lethargic, you're going to be more torpid, frazzled, debilitated, vitiated, and impaired. You're not going to be able to function optimally. You're going to be more prone to succumb to depression and anxiety, to say the least. Furthermore, you're going to have compromised immune system house or subpar immune system house if you have a vitamin D3 deficiency. It's also, going to, it's also going to put a damper on your mood. And you're going to have impaired wound healing. Your body is not going to be able to mend itself as expeditiously as it otherwise would be able to if you had optimal nutrient levels. You're going to be more prone, more vulnerable, more susceptible, more poised, more pry, more apt to succumb to muscle pain and inflammation. Furthermore, a vitamin D3 deficiency can induce autoimmune problems. It can also undermine your cardiovascular health. And it can also render you more prone to succumbing to neurological diseases. And it can render you more apt to contract infections. And it amplifies your risk of contracting cancers such as prostate cancer and colon cancer. So, 
These are just some of the copious amount of problems appertaining to having a vitamin D3 deficiency. Nothing salubrious, nothing beneficent can ensue by having a vitamin D3 deficiency. It is purely deleterious and detrimental to have any type of nutrient deficiency. Get a blood test conducted, ascertain if your nutrient levels are optimized, and if they're not, then remedy nutrient deficiencies immediately. Attain optimal nutrient levels. If you are a vegan, if you are a raw fruitarian, your meals are more than likely devoid of vitamin D3. Fortunately, much your relief, much your elation, much your gratification, you are able to remedy a vitamin D3 deficiency by intaking vitamin D3 from vegan supplements that have vitamin D3 embedded in them. So, make sure you never succumb to any nutrient deficiencies. I cannot punctuate that enough. I cannot emphasize that enough. It will degrade your health if you have a vitamin D3 deficiency. Your organs have a voracious appetite for vitamin D3, metaphorically speaking. When they are deprived of macronutrients, micronutrients, phytonutrients, vitamins, minerals, and other salubrious compounds, they cannot function optimally. You do not want your organs to become dysfunctional. You do not want to succumb to multi-organ failure or any type of organ failure for that matter. So I hope that you deem this video to be insightful and enthralling. You should not be content with having a vitamin D3 deficiency. Do not allow, do not allow it to become the bane of your life. If you have a vitamin D3 deficiency, you should immediately resolve the issue and not defer doing so. Do not allow these issues to be relegated to the back burner. Rectify them immediately. Do not shirk on optimizing your house. Your house is your wealth. It's a far better investment in yourself to procure vegan supplements to attain optimal nutrient levels because your wealth is your health. Having subpar nutrient levels or nutrient deficiencies leads to a host of adverse, direful, calamitous health issues that can be cumbersome to resolve the longer they persist. You do not want your health to exacerbate. You do not want to succumb to ailing, nor distress, nor insufferable, excruciating, searing pain. So, do not allow these health issues to remain unremedied. They're not irreparable. You can rectify any nutrient deficiencies you have. You are a pioneer of your own destiny. Take up the reins of your life optimize your nutrient levels, and do everything in your purview, do everything under your jurisdiction to ensure that you are able to attain robust, optimal, stellar health. You want to attain impeccable health. You want to manifest the quintessential version of yourself into reality, and you will be able to function optimally if you're able to attain optimal health. It provides you with a solid foundation 
for having a chance to have a prosperous, auspicious, blissful, and abundant future if you have optimal house. If you have subpar house, if your house is degrading, atrophying, and waning, it's going to be all the more cumbersome, all the more arduous, and all the more ineffably difficult for you to be able to manifest a prosperous, desirable, auspicious, abundant, blissful future for yourself into reality. So, optimize your house. I cannot emphasize that enough. It is incumbent. It is salient. It is of eminent importance to do so. So, I hope that you deem this video to be insightful and enthralling, as well as captivating, mesmerizing, riveting, intriguing, and informative. Have a blissful day. Goodbye.